Premium versus value golf balls from Callaway. What is the difference? Is there differences in spin with the wedges or spin with the driver? Is there more ball speed? You're about to find out. Golfers, welcome back to the channel. I'm Thomas Campbell, Director of Instruction at Swing Lab Performance Golf. Today joined by Ian McKenzie Olsen, fellow teaching professional. Ian, so we've got an interesting test today. We've got some premium golf balls versus more value golf balls for, from Callaway. Um, you're holding the Chrome Soft X, Chrome Soft golf balls, and I'm holding the Super Soft and the ERC Soft golf balls. There's some differences in feel, but is there differences in performance? We're about to kind of find out. What do you, what do you expect will happen in this test? Yeah, I mean, I'm not exactly sure, to be honest, you know, what, what to expect. I would, you know, hope that, you know, either of these two golf balls for, you know, my game perform the best. These are the premium golf balls. These are the tour players are playing. Um, you know, talk about, we brought up the, the prices of them, right? So these are running 50 bucks a dozen. Um, we dropped down to the golf balls you're using. Why don't you tell us about those? Yeah, I mean, like ERC Soft is usually been like another $10 left. And then you've got the Super Soft, which is, you know, we're talking $25 a dozen. And it is one of the most played golf balls out there. A lot of it is just purely value. When it comes to golf ball testing, first thing I'll ever tell anyone is make sure you play the same golf ball. Mm -hmm. That's the first most important thing. I don't care if it's a premium or valuable, play the same golf ball. After that, it's going to come down to feel. It's going to come down to what kind of performance you're looking for, whether you want to try and hit the ball high, you need more spin, or you need less spin. And that's where we're about to kind of find out and the differences with, between these golf balls. And you're right, you would, you would hope that the more premium golf ball will perform best for you, right? Mm -hmm. I'd also feel the same. I'd hope that I'd be able to maybe get a little more spin out of those if I wanted to, or a little more control. Definitely notice it around the green. I mean, when you're hitting pitch shots, chip shots, putting, you're going to notice the feel difference. We know the Chrome Soft X is a firmer golf ball. Mm -hmm. We know the Chrome Soft is a softer golf ball. And these other two, you know, Super Soft, ERC Soft, they're, they're soft golf balls. They're, they're, they're meant to be soft, but, but do they perform the same way? And that, that's what we're going to find out. So for today's test, I'm going to start out by hitting some 52 degree wedges, just stock full swing wedges. We'll look at the spin differences, look at a ball speed, see if there's any difference there. And then we'll get you to hit some drives and we'll see if there's any differences between the four balls. Let's do some testing. All right, Thomas, you hit all of them. You know, what are your kind of impressions on, you know, the feel of the golf ball? Um, I mean, uh, with the super soft golf ball, it felt like I was hitting a tennis ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was really soft, mm -hmm. like, like mush off the face. And you could notice that in the sound, too, yeah. just from me standing here. ERC soft was also similar. It, was a little, it felt a little firmer, but once we transitioned to the Chrome Soft X, that's when it just felt a little clickier off the face. It felt more solid. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that was what I noticed. And then, and then going back to four four, we hit was the Chrome Soft. After that, it felt just a little softer, but not quite as soft as the as the other two. Okay. Yeah, that's what we definitely kind of noticed. Um, interesting numbers, really. You're seeing the the more valuables. The spin rate was what 9200 with both of them. So not much separation between the, those two there at all. Um, I was swinging at 84 miles an hour with each club with each ball. Sorry. Um, we saw a jump in the Chrome Soft X, mm -hmm. 1,000 RPMs more than the ERC Soft and the, and the Super Soft. And then the Chrome Soft was about 400 RPMs less in spin. It's kind of what I would expect. Um, I'm looking for spin with my wedges and a little firmer feel, so I do play the Chrome Soft X Golf Ball for that reason. The other interesting thing I noticed here was the height that I was hitting the shots. If you look here, Chrome Soft X, if you look, you can see the height, 94 feet in the air. Super Soft, ERC Soft, 104 feet in the air. So they were flying 10 feet higher. So if you're a golfer that needs a little extra height with maybe a little lower spin, it's a great golf ball. Yeah, so we're, and you know, we're talking the, the feel difference was, it, it was soft. But if you look at the carry distance here, what are we seeing? About 121 
with the three of them with a little more spin, the, the Chrome Soft X was spinning, what, a yard, yard and a half lower. Mm -hmm. It was just stopping faster as well. So it was spinning, it was actually spinning backwards. Um, so if you like a little softer feel and you still want some, some, some distance out of your ball, you know, we're seeing that the, uh, the more value golf balls were going further um, because the, by the compression of the, of the ball is. All right, so um, people want to probably know about driver, right? This would be interesting to see if we see any ball speed differences or, or spin. So let's see, hit some drives and see what happens. Okay, Ian, uh, we hit four of the, of the golf balls. Let me know how they felt with driver in your hands. Yeah, I would say, you know, pretty similar to what you were talking about, the, the Super Soft and the ERC Soft, just a little bit kind of duller. It didn't really give me much feedback. And, um, you know, honestly, for, for me, I wasn't kind of a fan of that feel. Um, but then I jumped into the Chrome Soft X and immediately I was, I, was way more comfortable. It was sharper on the face. Still felt really good. It's not like I was hitting a rock, but it was just a lot more feedback um, and positive feedback, which was good. Um, and then the Chrome Soft X was was also good. It, it, I mean, I, I felt like it was, you know, a lot more solid than the ERC Soft and and Super Soft. Um, even though that's also obviously a soft golf ball, but but yeah, I mean, the numbers are numbers are super interesting. Um, you were talking about the differences in in the Chrome Soft X, even just compared to compared to everything, right? Yeah, I mean, yes, you were swinging a little faster. What well, you're swinging between one fourteen point seven to one seventeen point five, so you could say a little bit of that is club speed, why the ball's going a little further. But that's why I always revert back to that smash factor number, um, one five zero. That stood out. You were getting a little more ball speed, even though you're swinging a little a little faster. Um, the ball was going further. So you can see 331.1 um, versus, say, the Super Soft, which was the club speed was about 115, 315. Two, three miles an hour club speed is not going to generate 15, 16 yards further. Mm -hmm. So you can definitely say for your type of, play, type of player you are, Chrome Soft X is going to go a little further. I mean, we check out the height that you hit the, that, that particular ball. You see 129 feet in the air. Everything else was under 100 feet comfortably. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a higher flying, a uh, little higher spinning golf ball that gets a little bit more ball speed. Mm -hmm. So it was, it was going. And, you know, we did leave out uh, the Chrome Soft XLS golf ball. We just didn't have it to throw on, on the test. That would also be up there with regards to a firm feel. Um, but it, it'll be spinning a little bit lower as well. So it may not fly quite as high as, say, the Chrome Soft X would fly. But yeah, this is, this is good stuff. Um, I think a lot of it, yeah, it comes down to feel, but we definitely notice the, the more value or the cheaper golf balls. You know, you see it for the better players, probably, you know, they should be playing a premium golf ball. I, I, I always recommend you know, a, a premium golf ball from, to most people anyway, just purely on the feel. Uh, I think you're just gonna get more out of it, but I get it, budget, you know, it, I, had, I had a guy the other day that I gave, gave a lesson to and I recommended a Titleist Pro V1X to him. He's like, yeah, it's great, but I, I lost a dozen golf balls in the round. Mm -hmm. That's fifty-five dollars. So I understand the the need for value versus more premium. So it, a lot of it's going to come down to the the player and what they can afford there too. But you are going to get a better feel. You're going to get a little better performance out of a more premium golf ball. But there are definitely value golf balls out there that are still going to perform fairly well. That's what I'm definitely could, could say there. And, and to finalize this, definitely play the same golf ball. Once you know what you, that golf ball feels like and how it performs, it, that's more important than, than trying out different golf balls, finding a golf ball in the course and playing that one. That's the most important thing and playing the mo most golf ball for consistency. Yeah, that's the biggest thing I've noticed in my, in my golf game. I mean, just look at these numbers here. If I'm playing the Chrome Soft Dex one round and the next round playing the, the Chrome Soft, you're going to see you know, a huge difference in, in my game just between those two golf balls. Yeah, I mean, look at ball flight. 129 versus 88. Yes, you might have 
you got a couple that would go a little left, so mm. it's curving a little more left versus right. But big, big difference in the in the spin and the height and the distance you were getting out of it. You can see that you lost a little bit on efficiency. Mm -hmm. No, one four nine, one point five zero. Obviously, excellent smash factor numbers. But who doesn't want to be better, right? Who doesn't want better numbers overall? And that's why golf ball fitting is important. You know, at Swing Lab Performance Golf, you know, we will recommend a golf ball for our customers when they come in for a fitting. Um, so that's really important to you know, pay attention to. Is we will recommend golf balls. Um, but play the same golf ball. That's the mm -hmm. more important thing. Um, so golfers, if you love this video, let us know what you think. Um, when we were hitting here, we were using the silver dot on the, on the golf balls. Um, so we didn't get one single italicized number at all. Um, but we know obviously using tightless RCT balls inside, it's going to be maybe a touch more um, re re efficient with regards to the numbers. Um, but this is realistic. Realistic numbers what you're going to expect um, when, when you're going outside to see. So, if you love this video, subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want to come in for a, a, a fitting or a lesson, come and check us out at Swing Lab Performance Golf.